YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to control your XPMC using an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Alright, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to System, Settings, Services, and then you want to go to Web Server. Make sure that you select this, Allow Control of XBMC via HTTP, and the port will, should automatically be there, 8080 usually. And you go ahead and name your XBMC. You have to set the username and password to work along with the application. So go ahead and name it whatever you want. Mine's Ouya XBM XBMC as you can see. And just make you a quick password. Mine's six digits long. So that it, I guess you might want to consider making it six digits or more. And that's pretty much it. Once you get all that done, you can go ahead and move back. And we'll move over to the application. And what you're going to need to install the app is either an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Okay, so we've got our iPhone here. Now, I'm pretty sure this works for the iPad and iPod Touch as well. You just go over to your App Store, and you want to search right there for XBMC Remote. And it's free. It'll be the first one. There'll be a few different ones that pop up. If you want to go ahead and choose one of the paid versions or whatever, if you feel like maybe it's better, go right ahead but I'm gonna go ahead and show you the free version that I found that works great with without having to spend any money so you just go get it installed right there it's just which one it looks like official XBMC remote and once you get that installed what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to go to right here at the top and then you wanna add host so you want to go right here, click Add Host, and then you'll get all this stuff set up, like so. This will match the exact settings that I showed you on the video just now. So you need to put in your IP address, as well as the name and password that you've assigned to your XBMC. And once you get all that information correct, you just hit save right here and this will it'll be right there you just select it and it'll turn green and it's that simple alright so here we go and it works great and if you wanna type in titles which is probably one of the most handy features about it you just go to there to your, the little settings icon and then you see keyboard right there you just go ahead and type in the title that you're looking for and that comes in extremely handy with XPMC so tell me what you guys think in the comment section below this is supercharged iOS please like our page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS see you guys in the next video peace